to a pole show before. It was very new and we uh, didn't really know what to no, expect. We didn't and know what to... we knew going in that it was going to be a little risque or different. You know, we had our prejudice and stereotypes. We saw this like hour and a half long piece uh, that was like narrative and it had themes and characters and story arcs and like our jaws hit the floor. Like we were completely blown away. But I think what we weren't expecting was the degree of athleticism that we saw. Also, I think we weren't expecting the story and expecting to really have an emotional connection. We decided, hey, this is really interesting. Um, and this could be kind of cool. Or, you know, when you walk into a situation that you're unfamiliar with, like for example, pole dance rehearsals, we didn't know what was, you know, we had, there was a learning curve for us as well. Mm -hmm. So I think it was, it was learning, getting them comfortable with us being around them. I mean, at this point, they don't even know we're there anymore. Yeah. So they just, they'll do costume changes and forget to tell them how to turn off the camera. So like. I think there was a defining moment in the movie where we started very experimental, maybe like a 20 minute film, let's just explore. And then like, yeah. as things got happening, I think the defining moments when Jagged got on America's Best Dance Crew, we said, you know what, there's, there's a movie here and there's really a story here. And we kind of doubled down on it got serious about it. So rather than try to cover it all encompassing and make the Ken Burns of pole documentaries, we decided, well, maybe it's a little better if we focus in on one person and her struggle, which we found to be indicative of everybody's. Because everyone we talked to had the same story. I wanted, you know, to do something different with my life. I wasn't happy with where I was. I just, I took a pole class on a whim. It changed my whole world. So for us, we decided to focus on Jessica in living that story, knowing that other people in the community and other people outside the pole community could see that inspiration, you know? Yeah. Did I get that right? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> it's a story about this woman who's following her dream. That's what we got that first night when we saw Jagged's first show, and we're hoping that our audience walks away from that too. It's really interesting because our views changed as we made the film. Well, we met Jess and Jess approaches it as a dancer, you know, and she was very much like, I don't like the six inch heels and I want it to be to the music. And like, that was her point of view. And, you know, we, we kind of latched onto that. And then it was later on when we started interviewing more people in the pole community um, that we realized that there is an element of sexiness to pole dancing that's really powerful. Uh, especially in the way that women become very confident in their image. And I didn't really understand that at first, and now I really get that. And so I think like, while maybe at the beginning I was a little bit like, yeah, you should really move away from that sexy and go more artistic, I don't agree with that anymore. And I all dance is sensual, all dance is sexual. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I have friends who do modern dance shows and you're getting hot and heavy in there, like, and they're not doing anything different necessarily. Yeah, yeah. And yet, because there's not a pole next to them, it's okay. Our premiere is in New York City on June 29th. And this will be the first time the film is seen in a public audience. And we're hoping that people come out and support and we're, you know, excited and a little nervous about our reaction because we spent so long working with the yeah. film, we just, we really want people to, to love it. The world premiere of the film is gonna be in Manhattan at the Quad Cinema on uh, June 29th. It's a Sunday at 1 p.m. Uh, you can get tickets on our website, www.offthefloormovie.com. Um, We're also on Facebook, so we have a Facebook event as well. Um, yeah, yeah, so make sure to book on that link. Um, it's a screen booker link, so yeah. Yeah. Anything else? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Anything else? It's getting hot in here. Yeah, it is. There's yeah. no AC. Yeah. It's yeah. Loud. yeah, I know. It's all right. Cool. That was great. You guys yeah. Awesome. Great. Yeah. That pile of metals are set. So I was trying to find a place where we have a wide enough space to set it up so we could rehearse. Well, it turns out the space with the open ceiling is three inches short of being able to fit that thing. But the good news is that we have this loft here. So we were able to put up these little boards and um, set up the poles. I um, have a bunch of stuff up here for making costumes. It kind of becomes a sweatshop before shows. I try to make a lot of things myself to save us money because we're a little poor. Um, this is the jagged bathroom where we use about a roll of toilet paper every practice. <laughs> this is where all the magic happens <laughs> in my dreams. <laughs> 
So yeah, it's a pretty sweet spot. Uh, it's really expensive. So I pretty much spend my whole life trying to make enough money just to stay